Good morning, and welcome to a time of prayer and devotion. Let us come together first in prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day, for its gentle breezes, the way that nature sings, and yes, even the busyness of the world around us. It helps remind us, Lord, that there's so much alive, so much going on, and we have choices, things that we can be a part of. But Lord, help us, especially when we don't feel we have any choices or when choices are being made for us. Help us to look and see for you are in the way that you are leading us to the right choices. And Lord, we pray for the work of your church this day as it seeks to be relevant, but also most of all must seek to be relevant to your word, to your way, to your spirit's guidance and will. Lord, keep us on the path, the way that is Christ, to trust after him, to seek after him and one another and to bring out the best of one another by showing his love in each one of us. And so, Lord, set us to see, to look, to be witnesses of the many signs of your love this day and always. Amen. We turn to the Old Testament today, and today we're going to turn to the prophet Habakkuk. Habakkuk reading chapter 2 at verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. To be watchful, to be waiting and watchful is, is a reoccurring theme all throughout scripture and certainly as Christians we are mindful and ready and watching for um, Sometimes we're a little too eager for the day of the Lord's coming and that we start getting caught up in the business of predicting it rather than being ready for it. This passage, while many point to uh, this same theme of being watchful for the day of the Lord's coming, setting our watch upon the tower, um, <clears throat> it comes as a response, a very significant response, and it's, it's there in the last part of the verse. What I shall answer when I am reproved. And the idea of being reproved is both in being proven right or being proven wrong so that we may be made right. And, 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 and a good meaning encompasses both. And so much of our Christian life, we can be um, engaged in looking at Scripture and, and looking to uh, the witness of, of God in the world and uh, in order to prove ourselves right and not accepting when God won enjoy proves us right and shows us to be right and righteous and, and and those are great moments when after hard work and tremendous effort and diligence and patience that we, we we come to a, a resolution on something and realize wow i was right on that it doesn't always happen and our sin takes us often to a place where we're confronted with just how wrong we are <clears throat> and that can be a tremendous moment as well because that became becomes a point of pivot in our lives when we can finally turn and be watching in the right direction not distracted by all the agendas that we've gotten ourselves caught up with and no matter where we're coming at in in response to God's word we do have troubles in understanding what God is doing and and how God is doing it and 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 what what God's purpose in all of this is. And when we think that we've gotten to a place where uh, the whole world is wrong and, and everything is set against us and against God, then we're really forgetting the hope with which we're supposed to live. And the challenge for us to even in a world of disagreement to find uh, God in action and, and to follow the Holy Spirit from there. So today, um, I hope that you will be inspired to be reproved and from that, that proof of life and purpose that you will uh, s celebrate life all the more, engage in, in sharing God's word and, uh, and, and finding the fullness of life that God has for you. God bless and keep you. Amen.